Meantime, at least two groups are taking legal action now against the state of Texas because of the governor's latest order. If the majority of bars of a bar's revenue comes from alcohol sales, those bars were ordered closed as of last Friday. Taisha Walker is live in Uptown. And Taisha, do these people want bars to remain open? They do. They want to remain open just as restaurants are still able to operate for those restaurants that are selling alcohol. Uh, one lawsuit has already been filed today. We're told later this week another one expected to be filed as well. Houston attorney Jared Woodville is representing 50 bar owners who say Governor Greg Abbott's order requiring them to shut down last Friday is unconstitutional. He's picking and choosing winners and losers. Why is it okay for a tattoo studio, a cosmetologist, a barber, hair removal? They can all stay in business and make money and profit, and rightfully so. But at the same time, bar owners are sentenced to bankruptcy. Woodville says his clients, who are part of the governor's base, would also like to see some checks and balances. We don't elect kings. We don't have a monarchy. We have a republic. And it's high time that our duly elected officials meet as a body and discuss and debate legislation. The Texas Bar and Nightclub Alliance is also filing a lawsuit since restaurants with bars are still allowed to operate. In a statement to KPRC, the TBNA says to suggest the public welfare is protected by singling out one specific type of alcohol beverage license over another is without logic. Cedar Creek Cafe is a restaurant with a bar. They didn't have to scale back today from 75 to 50 percent capacity like the rest of restaurants. That's because they've been operating at half capacity for weeks. With uh, the restaurant business or any business, you've got to be ready for change. And so we're just going through it, learning as we go. The Texas Restaurant Association says restaurants are adapting the best they can with COVID and orders from the top. The Harris County Fire Marshal's office tells us that they responded to more than 625 calls and complaints over this past weekend about people saying that certain businesses weren't being compliant or that they had overcrowding in their establishments. Reporting live in the Uptown area, Taisha Walker, KPRC, Channel 2 News.